So we've saved seed, we've sowed seed, then what do you do when the seed grows? So it depends on what you've sown the seed in. If you've sown it in a modular tray, like these lettuce seedlings, or if you've sown it in a big flat tray altogether, you're going to have lots of plants coming up in the one area. So they'll be okay for a little while, but then there will come a point where there's too many in the one pot and you'll need to prick them out, which means taking individual little plants from here and giving them their own little pot. So these lettuce seedlings could be flower seedlings, they're all the same. Some of them I'm happy for there to be lots coming up in the one little module, but others I just want one. So this, these two rows here, I only want one plant coming up per module. So I could just thin them out by pulling out these plants and composting that, or I could prick them out. So I'm going to take this little one here, I'm going to take it out. So I'm going to stick my knife in, ease it out. I'm holding it by one of the true leaves so that if it does break, it won't damage the plant if the plant will grow another leaf. And I'm just easing it out and I'm getting lots of the root and the root ball. And I'm just going to stick this one in here where these seeds didn't germinate. And now it has its own little module. Might need a little bit more compost to grow on in. And I'll just tuck that one back in too. So that's all there is to it. It would be the exact same if I took one out, like this one here, and put it into an individual pot. Just giving it a little bit of space. So you're trying to disturb the roots as little as possible. And then I'd need to water this. So that's how to prick something out. Now, if you've sowed a pot like this, like these calendulas, it's a little bit different. Now I could do it the same way and stick in the knife, or I can put my hand over the top, turn it upside down, give it a little tap and a little squeeze. And you can see all the individual little plants, their little roots. Turn it back around. Now, these could have done with growing on a little bit more because if they did, they'd be holding all the compost together and it wouldn't break apart. And again, I'm trying to disturb the compost as little as possible. I'll ease these apart. Just trying to keep that around the root ball. Another little pot with some compost and we tip it in. Now, if you've grown your seedlings on a little bit more, they'd be fine in this pot for another while. The compost won't fall apart. The roots will hold it together and make it easier to do. And again, I'd need to water this. So that's what you would need to do. These can stay in this pot for another little while until I start to see white roots along the bottom. And then I know it's time to either plant them out or pot them on to a bigger pot. These calendula can go straight outside into the garden when they've got a little bit bigger. And that's it.